Hey, it's Jonathan Kowal over here at Ahead, one of our storage specialists. We're taking a look again at the Dell EMC PowerStore platform, but today we're going to take a look at the PowerStore X. Uh, this is a little bit different from the first video where we took a look at the PowerStore T. Main difference here is that this runs VMware as the hypervisor directly on the storage array. Uh, we get a hypervisor running on each storage controller where we can run VMs in a HA cluster. Uh, we'll jump over real quick and show you that inside of vCenter where we can see the two controllers with the OS running as a VM directly on those controllers and then with me running VMs inside of the system running directly on those on those controllers. So it's all self-contained within a, a nice 2U form factor here. But looking back at the dashboard, one of the things you'll see immediately that's different from the T as well uh, is we see those storage containers. So these are the data, Vavol data stores that are presented back to the cluster uh, as a shared storage resource. The initial one down here on the bottom, this is PowerStore PSX, was the initial container created during the install as well as I've created a second demo container here. The one thing I want to show you here that's that's nice about the system, uh, if I take a look at the properties, when I created this, I, I set a five terabyte quota. It's not just a soft quota because I've uh, capacity management turned on where I will alert and can lock down the capacity of the system to kind of keep maybe a, a rogue VM or an end user can, from consuming too much space inside of this, inside of this system. Uh, but jumping back to the dashboard, something... Uh, that was nice about the PowerStore T that you also see in the X is this watch list right on the front page here of the dashboard where we can drop, jump in and see some VMs and what they're doing, how much I.O. they're doing, get some quick information. If I needed to, I could I could jump in and drill into one of those VMs and get details on that. Uh, it's a nice HTML5 interface, very snappy, easy to use and get around. One of the also nice things about the way they've integrated the PowerStore X with the hypervisor is that when I do protection of a VM, I'm taking a snapshot of the entire VM. So this one's got multiple VMDKs on it. You know, you got the VMX config file, things like that. When I snapshot it, I get all of those in one, one snapshot. For here, I've got several VMs that have been snapped, several snapshots created individually, but also have some snapshots that are created on a schedule. So if I look here at the daily snap schedule, I can see I'm taking a snapshot every day at 10 p.m. and I'm retaining those for seven days. So on that eighth day, when I create a snapshot, I'll purge in the original snapshot of that of that list, uh, and I'm also I'm getting the full full VM snapshot. We can drill in and see a, a little bit of information there, and launch back into vCenter if I want to manage any properties specific about that snapshot. So while we're doing that, uh, we will take a look and see that the snapshots are actually integrated with with vCenter, and I can manage those snaps and see that right here directly in vCenter. So if you're more comfortable managing it in vCenter, you have it here. If I want to jump back into the storage array, I get some, get some data and management there as well. Jumping back to the dashboard, also we get capacity management. Get some quick information there, very similar to what you see on the PowerStore T. Uh, very easy to use, right? Quick and snappy. Also, when you're getting performance information and trending, right? When I click into a chart, I can actually drill on a specific time period and see some more detailed data. Grab a screenshot of this or download it, whatever you need to do, send it to an end user, get your get out of jail free card and say, hey, it's not me. I'm at a half millisecond response time. This is a, a really good thing to see on your VM. Drilling through the system, monitoring alerts, some things you're very familiar with, but when I'm looking at the, the VMs inside the system, I actually get a, a nice quick look of everything that's configured and running as a, as a VM and a VVOL that's inside the system and can drill into any one of those like we just saw when I was showing the snapshots. Uh, the storage containers, what I just showed you. Also, since this system, it is a storage array, I still have access to enable those block protocols and I can extend that to storage outside. So I can still create traditional block volumes if I say had a physical host in this in this site and I needed to attach it, get some iSCSI storage off the system. You have that full capability here to create those volumes and, and allocate those out. Protection, we got the replication going on, but we also took a look at those policies to see the snapshots. Uh, also, when I come into the screen, I can hover over and see what's immediately uh, inside of this policy, see what's associated to it, and what's getting protected. If I need to change that, very easy to do. Migrations for importing external storage inside of the system. On the VMware side, probably going to do storage vMotion to get stuff in to running here and consuming the storage. But if I had uh, an extra, another external array, uh, say an old Unity, and I need to pull those ones in, this is the, the screens where you would do that. And then similar to the PowerStore T, the same interface for taking a look at the hardware. Look at the overall performance of the system, uh, any alerts at a high level. So quickly look at the hardware. We can see the drives in the system, get details on that. 
uh, and what's going on there. So very similar to the T as far as uh, ease of use inside the CUI, very easy. Uh, we do like the system a lot, get really good response time for VMs. It's, it's a very interesting use case to be able to run VMs directly inside of the storage array and consume that storage without having to allocate extra, extra compute in a small form factor, get a whole lot of capacity uh, and very, very good performance. Uh, so again, PowerStore X, if you uh, want some more information on it, get a live demo, please reach out to your CSA or you can come directly to the storage specialist team over here, whether it's Scott Reeder or me, Jonathan Kowal, and we thank you for your time.